Hey, hi everyone. This is Admin from Admin365 and in this video we will talk about Office 365 archive issue where the email does not go to the archive. We will talk about retention policies, retention tags. We will also talk about a PowerShell command that can help us to fix the archive issue. So let's get started. So if you have archive turned on on your account in Outlook, you will see a separate mailbox like you see in front here, uh, online archive followed by the mailbox email address. So it is a separate storage provided to you whenever you enable archive and all the emails from your primary account gets moved to the archive depending on the policy which you have assigned. So the folder structure would be exactly the same as you have it in the primary mailbox and uh, the same exact folder structure gets created in the online archive and uh, you can navigate to the folder structure to locate that particular email which has been moved to the archive. Online archive as the name says it is online so if you are not connected to the internet it will not show up in your outlook or the outlook will not load. Uh, on the browser it is named as in place archive and on the outlook desktop application it is named as online archive so they both are same but the naming is different for different place where you are accessing it for example if i try to open my outlook here to show you uh, what exactly it says uh, you can check uh, in your account as well it would it should start with the in place archive and there you go uh, it says in place archive followed by the name of the account this can be changed uh, in the exchange admin center when you try to turn the archive on there is an option to change the archive name as well so if you want you can change the name of your archive as per your convenience there so now we know how archive looks in the outlook on the desktop and on the web let's see how we can turn on the archive and uh, check the retention policy applied so for that we will have to go to the exchange admin center from the main admin center which was admin.microsoft.com and then we go to the exchange which is admin.exchange.microsoft.com in here we'll click on recipient and then mailboxes and search and click on the user on which we want to turn on the archive uh, the status of the archive you can see in the archive status column in here itself if it is stating active that means the archive is already enabled for the user you can search and click on the account on which you want to turn on the archive and on this you will have to go to the others tab under mailbox archive you will see the status and you can manage the same by clicking below and here you can see it is enabled if you want to enable it and if it was disabled you can simply toggle it to enable and uh, save the changes here you can also change the name once the archive is enabled you can check the policy which is assigned to the user and here you can see the retention policy is default MRM policy if you want you can change it if you have made any custom policies we will talk about creating custom policies as well here in this video so uh, currently it is default that means two years older email would be moved to archive so any emails which is older than two years would be automatically moved to the archive the default MRM policy also holds different types of tags and all the tags have different function uh, there are personal tags and uh, default tag so if you have default tag applied on your mailbox and if you apply personal tag to any of the email or any folder or subfolder in your mailbox that personal tag will take preference and uh, the email would be moved to the archive depending on the conditions that on the personal tag whether it will be moved to the archive or whether it will be deleted uh, it all depends on the personal tag which you have created so let's see how we can apply personal tag and before that we'll see the policy which is the default MRM policy 
so we will for that we will go to the compliance admin center and in compliance admin center we will go to the tab called data lifecycle management and under that we will click on exchange legacy in here uh, we will see all the retention policy which has been created retention tags as well and any new tag or new policy which you want to create you can create it from here so currently you can see default MRM policy is here and there are other two as well which I have created and which are custom and not created by default we will check what are the different policies provided to us in the default MRM policy and here you can see there are multiple tags which is present in the default MRM policy and by default the default one gets applied which is this one two years move to the archive it gets applied to the entire mailbox and here are the personal tag which is provided to us which we can apply to any email or folder to override the default policy so for us to apply them uh, we simply have to go to the particular email which we want it to be applied on or a folder to apply we will have to right click on the email and then click on advanced action and assign policy and in here you will see all the personal tags which is present in the retention policy do keep in mind that uh, archive policy and retention labels are two different things. Archive policy and uh, retention policy are related but retention label are not related. Retention label is more for preserving the document and, and in term of securing the document as well. And archive policy is for moving the emails from primary to archive or deleting the emails only the personal tag which has the action to move to archive is given to the user to apply the personal tag which has an option to delete is not provided to the end user to apply on the folder or uh, email in the mailbox and uh, you can see all the tags which is present on the tenant uh, you will see most of them for your tenant as well this is created by default and uh, under type you will see that uh, there are personal tag, there are default tag, deleted items and junk email. Uh, deleted items and junk email are basically retention policy tag and can be applied for the user directly from the backend. User don't have to do anything. It directly gets applied to the particular respective folder which you have mentioned there. So let's go ahead and create a new tag. We will give it a name and a description and then on the next page we will see an option to either create a default tag which gets applied to the entire mailbox and the second option is a retention policy tag which gets applied to the default folder like deleted items, junk email or inbox sent items. So all the default folder which is present in the mailbox you can apply it to them and the third option is the personal tag uh, all the tags have different action few have moved to archive and few have to delete and allow recovery and permanently delete so you will have to choose accordingly and then select it and hit next for now we will create the default tag as we are creating one year uh, default policy to move to the archive once you hit next you will see the period and the action we will select the action to move the item to the archive and uh, for the second one as you can see for the default retention policy tag uh, you see all the default folder which is present but the default tag gets applied to the entire mailbox once you select the action move the item to the archive you will have to mention the time or the age of the item after which it will move to the archive for now I have selected 365 as one year old email should be moved to the archive all the actions uh, for a particular tag is different so you will have to select as per your need and uh, once you have created a tag you will have to create a policy to contain that particular tag you can give it a name specify the name that will help you understand what kind of a policy it is 
as I'm creating one year move to archive default policy I'm giving it that name then I will have to search and select the tag which I have created for this purpose once I, I have the tag and I have added the tag in the policy I can save or create the policy and now once the policy is created we will simply go and apply it to the mailbox on which we want the policy to take effect as it is a default policy user intervention is not needed so as soon as we apply it to a mailbox one year old emails within that mailbox would be moved to the archive so we can select any user for now i will choose uh, this user and under mailbox tab uh, you will see an option to manage mailbox policy and under retention policy we will we will now see the new policy which we have created one year move to default you just have to select your policy your custom policy and then hit save it will then get apply applied to the mailbox uh, the process is slow it takes from one day to seven day for it to start moving emails from primary mailbox to the archive if you want to speed this up there is an option to do uh, you can use windows powershell connected to the exchange admin center and then run a particular command which helps to speed up the process once you run the command you can check after one or two hours you should see the progress of emails getting moved to the archive if not one to maximum 24 hours you should see the progress of emails from primary to archive mailbox so uh, let's open windows powershell just search for windows powershell on your computer and run it as an administrator allow the necessary permissions when it asks and once the powershell is open we will simply connect it to the exchange online by running the necessary commands i will share the same uh, within the description a link to connect to exchange online you can follow the same to connect to exchange online the command which we run to install the exchange on a powershell is install hyphen module hyphen name exchange online management as you can see on your screen it will then ask us for the permission we will type a for alpha and hit enter if it is already installed it will give you this warning if it is not installed it will start the installation once the installation is done we will run the import module command which will import all the commands of exchange online management if you're not able to run install and import command you can set the execution policy to remote signed that will help you to run the install and import command and you can give it a try one more time so for now i will set the execution policy it is not needed if you don't get any error while installing the module you can follow the link uh, it has clear steps for uh, installing and connecting to exchange online and then we will run connect hyphen exchange online command which will prompt us for a global admin email address and password or an exchange admin email address and password so we will select the same and then log in so now as you can see it is connected to exchange online and we will simply run the command which will help us with the archive process so uh, let's take the email address of 
the user on which we have made the changes in the archive and then we will run the start hyphen managed folder assistant command followed by the email address of the user in the identity field as you can see in front and we'll then hit enter once you hit enter it will send a request to the server to start the MRM process uh, I recommend to uh, run the command at least couple of times just to make sure and in case you get any error if you have recently turned on the archive and you have created a policy or you're trying to run the PowerShell command and you get uh, get any error like the archive is offline then uh, wait for 10 to 15 minutes and then try the command again and check the behavior so once you run the command wait for a couple of hours at least to max 24 hours and the email should be moved from your primary mailbox to the archive provided that there are emails which are matching or hitting the policy which you have created for example i have one year policy so if i have email older than one year then only i will see the emails getting moved to the archive all the emails which are not older than one year from current date will not be moving to the archive so they will still be in the primary mailbox so there you go guys if you have any question doubt of archive or archiving policy or retention tag or anything about archive you can drop it in the comment section